Yes dudes, we are back and welcome to another video. So today we are doing a sales update before, but before we get into this video, I nearly stumbled there but I caught that one. Uh, but before we get on with today's video, I do need to give out a coupon code for 20%, that, that, that's 10, but double that, 20% uh, off ads cards for the first three people who use the link down below first link in the description click over on that link and then obviously go over to stream loot and you can redeem that coupon for 20 percent off ads cards first three people so you better be quick anyway with that being said let's get on with the sales update 10 items to share with you today uh, first off we've got this land rover international press launch scottish highlands 2002 official jacket now you could say that this is a very niche item indeed uh, because someone would have to be looking for the specific 2002 highlands one and i would imagine that someone who's a big collector of land rover stuff would have wanted to get this one specifically or obviously another variant of this one yeah maybe someone just wants a land rover jacket but this is one of those items that really it's catering to a very uh, niche audience and if you get that niche audience if you hit on that audience uh, then you're going to get the right buyer and that buyer is going to be someone who is an avid collector of this stuff so i would have hoped that that's where this one's going it is going to an avid collector of this stuff and of course they wanted that jacket specifically but you never know it might be going to just someone who wanted a land rover jacket as well um now i didn't get 99.99 for this i had this on for ages i did shoot quite high at 99 99 in fact there was no, none of us on there i don't think and i just randomly made up a price and about a year later or something like that um i accepted an offer of i believe it was 79.99 if i remember rightly so 79.99 Plus my postage there for this Land Rover, uh, Jag not Land Rover Jaguar, Land Rover jacket, I don't know. Maybe this was before they did a partnership with Jaguar, I'm not sure. I'm, I, don't, I'm, don't, I don't know, I'm not into cars, I don't know anything about cars, I don't know anything about the partnerships between dealerships and all that sort of stuff. But yeah, uh, nice little item, but you can tell on this photo why I don't, don't do clothing. I try my best when I'm doing clothing to make it look professional and I just can't do it. Look, I've got half a mannequin there. I've dressed it all up on the mannequin. It just still doesn't look professional. I mean, maybe I need a better backdrop or something because I don't like that door. The, the brown door just does not work in that photo. But I try to be professional with the stuff I've got, the tools I've got. But also, I think it's just my interest for that niche, my interest for clothing isn't there. And then that just gets reflected in the overall presentation on the listing. So I think you have to just play with your strengths and, and just sometimes, not all the time, because it's definitely good to improve upon some weaknesses, but sometimes just ignore your weaknesses and play to your strengths. And so sometimes that's what I do. I just ignore, like, for... for at this point, I just ignore clothing, or I might just pick it up very, very uh, sparsely. But yeah, it's always better just if you're really not focused on one niche, or you really don't think um, that you're, it's your kind of thing, just move on, find something else, and then maybe that will be your thing, and maybe you'll really excel in that other thing. So, that being said, that's that one. That's definitely enough rambling on that one. So, uh, vintage oval silver plate lidded food serving tray platter plate. This was quite nice, although it did have a little bit of tarnishing on and stuff like that. So, obviously, it had seen some wear, and obviously, it's uh, got a bit of age to it and stuff. If this was a little bit better, if it didn't have as much tarnishing on and stuff, it might have sold a little bit quicker than it did. It took a, a few month, fair few months to go. 24, oh no, I didn't get, did I get 24.99? Something's telling me I, I accepted an offer of maybe 19.99 on this, but it was either 19.99 or I got full price of 24.99. But yeah, that's that one. It's a nice looking little item, but as I say, the tarnishing uh, just lets it down for me personally. I know maybe someone out there would like it with tarnishing on. I don't know why in this specific item, because obviously when you're dealing with things that are outdoors, sort of brass items and things like that that are outdoors. Some people like that patina and some people like a bit of tarnishing and things like that. And even a little bit of discoloration that actually fits with their kind of liking or demographic.
kick of what they're going for. But uh, with this item specifically, I can't really see the tarnishing adding to it or anything like that. It's just not the type of item that that would be suited for. So, yeah, I think that just lets it down a little bit. Maybe that's why it took a little bit longer to sell. I did have another one of these, actually, that um, was a lot, a lot brighter and better. And I think that did sell a little bit quicker. So, And it was pretty much the exact same one as well. So, yeah, $24.99 on that one. Or, as I say, maybe $19.99, actually. But, yeah, that's that one. Uh, I picked this up for 3 or £4 in a charity shop a while ago. 4M Kids Labs Anti-Gravity Magnetic Levitation Kit. Brand new and sealed. And I got $19.99 for this. Didn't take an incredible amount of time to sell. But it wasn't something that uh, was just a week or two flip. It wasn't like that. Um, but, you know, it sold in the end. I was pretty happy with that. Uh, 20 quid from either around three or four quid there. Uh, next, we've got something that did take quite a while to go. You can tell this was this was in here for ages because we have the uh, green background and then that wooden background underneath. That photo setup is age that, that, i was gonna say ancient but i settled on ages there but no that photoshop is uh, that photoshop oh i'm tripping myself up now on it that photo backdrop is ancient it really is it is archaic it was ages ago that i had that um that backdrop so i got did i accept an offer of 30 quid i believe i accepted an offer of 30 quid on these so it wasn't the 42 pound there but 30 quid off on these uh, and then obviously plus the postage nice little set this really really was I can't remember where I actually got this from. Uh, something's telling me it was a charity shop. And as I say, this was ages and ages ago I got this. So there's no there's no hope of me remember, uh, remembering properly. But yeah, I got it from a charity shop. I'm pretty certain that I got it from a charity shop, not an auction. And I want to say maybe it was around 8 to 10 quid. I, I remember I paid up a little bit for this. Um, hoping, obviously, that I would get maybe about 40 or 50 quid. Obviously, in the end, I've had to come down to 30 quid. But to be honest, there's still a bit of profit in that. Would I pick it up again? Probably not. Although, saying that, maybe it was to do with my title or maybe it was to do with my photos that maybe it just took longer to go. You never know on these things. So, uh, I'd probably reassess now and maybe if I did pick it up again, I came across it. Maybe I would pick, let's say this, maybe I would pick it up for three or four quid, something like that. Maybe I wouldn't go quite as high as eight or ten quid for it, knowing that I had it in the past and it took quite a while to sell. Um, but I think if I'd updated this listing, if I'd actually you put some better photos in there maybe updated the title a little bit although the title looks pretty decent there to be honest um but if i had just updated a little bit maybe i would have actually sold quicker so you never know really it might just be simply down to the photos or something like that but yeah that's that one there next we've got this vintage this actually sold not too bad for for a painting uh, I got this vintage landscape watercolour, trees near a lake in thick gilt frame. This is a really, really lovely frame. Uh, it's a fairly big uh, painting, I think. You can see, yeah, I mean, it's 34 in width, 34 centimetres in width. Is, have I got another photo for the length here? Yeah, I've got another photo for the length. Uh, where's that now? Oh, what, about 50, well, 52 centimetres in uh, length there as well so it's a fairly big one uh 29.99 there plus my postage so yeah 29.99 on that plus post oh i picked this up in an auction job lot individual cost to me it's about three quid so i'm really not but it's probably less than that but i'm rounding up as i always do um but yeah so i'm not really bothered i've still got great profit on it but you know there's always that temptation of well really i might have been able to get a bit more why why didn't i maybe be a bit more confident put it up a bit you, you never know although saying that it might not have sold so you've always got that in there but yeah that's that one games workshop sf04 space orcs i'm actually in profit on the job lot that this came in brand new and sealed it did have a bit of wear and and uh, what do you call it sort of shelf wear and stuff to the box a little bit of concaving in and stuff uh, i had this up for a little bit more i think originally maybe 15 quid something like that maybe a little bit higher than that um but yeah i got 9.95 plus post in the end for this one as i say i'm in profit on that so it doesn't really matter um obviously after posting fees that's pure profit there's no cost or anything so that's pretty cool um next we've got this vintage uh, oil on canvas j howard landscape traditional painting artwork again in this lovely gilt frame lovely traditional painting this i accepted an offer of 45 pound on this one plus postage i paid a tenner in a charity shop 
really, really happy with this sold because I picked it up and I knew it was worth around the £50. I thought, yeah, I'm going to shoot for that. And I, well, actually, I shot for 60 quid, uh, which was even £10 higher. Again, that's this is one of the paintings that I actually did have a bit more confidence with and I actually had that confidence to go a little bit higher but it had been on a while and I thought you know what I'll accept the 45 quid I paid a tenner for it obviously that's plus postage as well so just over 50 quid including postage and yeah I was really really happy with that and I hope that when the person gets this I'm actually yet to package this one up but when the person gets this uh, they will be happy with it because I really do like this painting um, I know to a lot of people it's kind of oh it's very standard traditional kind of art and it's not really modern or anything like that but I really do get behind that traditional art I really like it and although maybe even you could say it's a little bit template and stuff like that I just like that I like that style um and uh, yeah it's just it's just nice but I know other people wouldn't I know other people would be like like all the crazy weird art and stuff and and even those um you know, sculptures and stuff of modern art that's really weird and crazy and stuff. But I'm just quite happy with the traditional art. Although saying that, I can appreciate um, the sculptures, the weird and cool new modern modern sculptures and stuff. Uh, there's a lot of them, isn't there? The, the metal ones where, where they're made out of loads of different cogs and stuff. And, and they've got spoons in there and everything. It's just a weird, wacky creation and stuff. You see a lot like that. And uh, I quite like those. But in terms of other art, I, I do like the traditional but anyway, that's me rambling on that for 10 minutes. Next, uh, vintage wooden vegetable here mark. Oh, vegetables here mark. It should really be vegetables here. I think I mentioned that in the whole video, actually. Instead of it being vegetable here. Should be vegetables plural, but anyway. Um, market store fruit and veg shop chalk pricing stand. Really, really nice. This. I think I paid two quid. It was either two quid or three quid. No, wait, maybe it was a fiver. Oh, now I'm going on. I don't know. I don't know. It was between two and five quid. Someone's telling me two quid. Then someone's telling me three quid. And then someone's telling me a five. It was no more than a five, though. I know this was cheap. This was really cheap. It was two, three quid, five quid, something like that. It was really cheap. And I thought, you know what? I can get some good money out of that. And I got 45 quid again. I accepted an offer. Did I? Yeah, I think I got 45 quid for this. I accepted an offer. Um, and then plus the postage there. Uh, vintage wooden, as I say, this vegetable here, here market stall stand. Pretty nice item, pretty unusual item. I've not really seen these around much. Um, so yeah, but it's quite cool. I've not even, funny thing is, I've not even seen these at the auction or anything like that. I've ne not really seen. Uh, these specific type stands at the auction. Obviously, you see the uh, enamel signs and things like that, but I've not actually seen these specific sort of chalkboard ones. Also, I've not seen the ones in the auction for pubs and things like that. You would imagine that those would come through the auction quite a lot, but yeah, I've not, I've not seen them, which is really odd. Um, but yeah, so that's that one there. Pretty interesting sale. Next, we've got this Raisenberger Thousand Piece Jigsaw Haberdashery Heaven uh, new Christmas gift. I think I got it, well, I definitely got it at a car boot. Something's telling me around three quid I paid for this at the car boot. And this went on auction for £19 plus postage there. So yeah, really happy with that one. Not really anything to dwell upon that one. Just a nice little board game to be honest. So yeah, that's that one. Finally, Build-A-Bear Workshop Strawberry Kiss uh, Red Collectible Plush Soft Toy Bear. Again, I accepted an offer on this. Obviously, I'm accepting loads of offers at the moment. Because I just want to get things out. I need to get down my stock at the moment and get things out essentially. So, um, yeah, this was £3 in a charity shop in the St. Luke's charity shop. Probably the only item today that I've actually remembered where it came from and the exact price. But, yeah, St. Luke's charity shop. Uh, yeah, well, hang on, I've got to check. Yeah, it is St. Luke's. It's St. Luke's in Hartford charity shop. Three quid and, as I say, accept an offer of £14 on that one. So, I was happy just to see that one go. Uh, interesting little builder bear there. And that is everything. So, thank you very much for joining me today. If you haven't already, then please do consider to uh, subscribing to the channel. Um, if you did like the video, then please Please do whack a like on it down below and uh, comments questions queries anything of that nature whack those down below in the comments box and i will see you very soon guys so see you very soon